back as you guys can see for the title today we're doing pandas and shadows so you guys have my four shadows hoo, hoo, hoo. if this is your first video you're seeing this week i'm just giving it out there right now uh yeah <laughs> I warned you guys that the month of July was going to be a hard month for me. I wore makeup a total of, let me check because I would wear 17 days. That's it. 17 times is, a, is the most that I wore makeup this whole entire month of July. <sighs> and normally I wear a minimum of like 22 to 28 days. So <laughs> I didn't do so great, you guys. I didn't do so great with a lot of products in my Project Pans. But since this is one of my first project pans I do in the beginning of the month. This was the one that I've done the worst because I still have a little bit more time to catch up on my other ones. Not so much on this one. So <laughs> are you guys ready to hear these horrible numbers? But it is what it is, you guys, you know, uh, I knew and I expected it and I needed a break. I really did need a break from makeup and just enjoy my time and relax. So if you're interested in seeing uh, my progress on these eyeshadows, stay tuned by first if you're new. Hello, Alejandra. I go by Alex, eyeshadow enthusiast with a dash project pan. If you want to continue to see that on your feed, subscribe and join us. And now let's get on with this update. Alrighty, you guys. So we have our four shadows here. Prep yourselves because I didn't do so great, but that's okay. Cause you know, it is what it is, you guys. It is what it is. I'm giving myself grace cause I am always so into my projects and making sure everything is getting used that I needed a, a genuine break. And I'm very, very happy I took it because it just makes, it, it gave me that refresher for me to want to wear makeup again. So let's start out with the first one. This was rolled in last month. This is my Tarte uh, Don't Quit Your Daydream palette. The shade that I rolled in here was the color Work, which was a matte brown. When I rolled this in, this was completely brand new, never been used. The whole, the whole entire palette is completely brand new, never been used. So you'll see a photo of it up on the screen. And as you guys can see, <laughs> Let me not dig my finger in there. It still looks rather brand new. I've only used this shadow five times. Five times. This is a rather easy shadow for me to use because I can just use this as a liner, as an outer V deepening shade. But I have other shadows that I'm putting as priority because this is going to be rather easy. I have not really used anything but this shade out of this palette. So I haven't really played around with this palette either, just because I have a lot of these shadows already in this project pan for like the last two months. So I'm not really interested in really playing around with this palette right now. But um, this will be a priority. This should be easy enough for me to roll out next month. I just got to hunker down now and start using it more. So this is staying in. Up next, up next, let's talk about our single. This is the MAC Say It Isn't So Dazzle Shadow. So this is more like a glittery, sheer topper type of shadow. It's a gray, but like with purple, pink, and blue, silver type of sparkle in it. Very, very pretty. Cannot use it as an inner corner highlight. I've tried that and it, it deepens it up a little bit too much for me. So as you guys can see from the last update uh, or the la the intro of it, because this is the first time it's in here, um, it was rather brand new. And I can tell you right now, I'm not going to hit pan on this one. This is very, very similar to the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows. So I'm not going to hit pan on it. And as you guys can see right now, it's still looking the same. It just looks like a little bit more powder around it, but it's still looking the same. I've only used this six times, which is a lot for me, considering this shadow is very cool tone-ish gray. But it's been a lot of fun to use on my lower lash line, and that's how I'll continue to use it in my lower lash line, mixing it with different shadows, trying to lighten it up, but get the sparkle to come out of it. I have actually used this as a liner either, and it's really pretty as an eyeshadow liner. So you guys, both of these have a long way to go to get to 27 uses, because I don't think I'll hit pan on either one of these two, but I should get to 27 uses. This one needs 21 uses is his 22 uses. So I got to hunker down and wearing a lot of makeup in August. All right. So this is now the third month. This is going to be in here. You guys, this is the ColourPop Millie shade. So last month, I think I only used this five times. <laughs> 
only reached for this five times. Previous to that was three times, you guys. I've been really slacking on the shadow, but it's been rather easy and a lot of fun for me to use. As you guys can see from the previous update, it doesn't look that much used, and I don't in expect this to use looked used because ColourPop shadows are very hard to hit pan on. At least some of the singles are. And you guys, this is what it's looking like now. I've only used this 19 times, you guys, in total. 19 times in total. So I didn't use it every single time I wore makeup in the month of July, but I did my best to incorporate this as much as I possibly could. I have eight more uses to go on this one, you guys, and it can get rolled out. I'm not hitting pan on this. This is very densely packed. Like I said, their single shadows are very hard to hit pan on. The ones in the palettes are a little bit easier than their singles in here. So this is still staying in, but I know I'll hit my eight gold use on this one because I don't see myself extending this anymore. And it is what it is, you guys. I've been enjoying it today. I'm actually wearing this as a liner and it's really, really pretty. I've been really liking the pop of bronzy shimmer as a liner on my eyes. It's very, very nice. So I like it, um, but this is also staying in for yet another month. I think this is the only shade I've ever had here that's been going for three months. I typically only have shadows for two months and then I'm able to roll them out, but I slacked a lot. I slacked a lot. All right, last but not least was the shade in the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. This was a shadow that I had in here. Now this is the second month that it's been in here. Um, and I don't remember how many uses. I think I had like 12 uses of it. I, I don't have my book with me to look, but I'll put it up on the screen if I remember how many uses, but I did have a nice dip in there. You guys can see from the picture, I had a nice dip. And I have used this 19 times, but I have hit pan on the 19th use. As you guys can see right there, that's a pretty nice pan in there and a nice crater I was able to use. This was fun to use. This was my shadow that I concentrated on the last two months. And the um, beginning of July, I used quite a bit of makeup. It was towards the last two weeks of July that I really didn't put on much makeup at all. So this is when I got the most use out of it. I took advantage knowing that I was probably not going to use a lot of makeup towards the end of the month and really hunker down on this one. So I do have pan in this palette finally. It's very, very pretty. I used a lot of the other shadows and I, I appreciate this palette. It's nice. It's subtle, um, but still gives me a, a nice juicy, like bronzy look. It's not very subtle, subtle. So I like it. So I have hit pan. So at least I get one rollout, you guys, even though I sucked in the month of July, I was able to at least get one pan out of all three of these. So that means I get to roll in one palette, one shade, and that's fine with me because that's better than having nothing, no movement at all. And I always try to at least have some sort of movement in here. So before we roll in that palette, I want to share with you guys the color story, the, all the color stories that I've had since the beginning of this year. tiny decisions onto my iPad to make it easier for you guys to be able to see what is coming up versus my phone. So we're going to roll in one palette and one palette only this time, which is perfectly fine because it's better than nothing. So let me try to hold on to this thing because this is going to be very, very heavy, but here we go. Mega Pro 4. <laughs> Lorac Mega Pro 4. All right, let me pull that one out because that has a lot of shades in there. So we're going to see which one we're going to get. Give me one moment. All righty, so here is the Lorac Mega Pro 4. This was the last large palette that they had. And it's all cool tone, you guys. <laughs> it's all cool tone. So this is what we're working with. So let me see how many do we have? One, two, three. 32 shades. So 
I'm going to randomize it in here. 32, done, save it. So let's see what number will pop up. Twenty five. All right, eight. Eight times three is twenty four. Twenty five, which is this shade right over here. It's a very, very light pinky. Yeah, very light. Oh, that's going to be easy to work on, though. It's called unicorn. Can you see it right there? That's going to be easy because one, Lorac eyeshadows are easy to hit pan on, and two, that's an inner corner highlight. So let me swatch all the shades so you guys can see them all together. All right, so here we go. I think this is by far the coolest eyeshadow combo I've gotten so far, I think, at least this year. So yeah. Okay, so let's recap and think about what we're going to do here, shall we? This one's definitely gonna get rolled out. My goal is to roll out this one, this one. These two are gonna be my ones that I'm concentrating on and I have a feeling these two are gonna get a lot of use too because these are gonna go rather quickly and these two I can incorporate as an inner corner. See, because this is, could be an inner corner, this is gonna be a liner, so I'm gonna use them every single time I do my makeup. And I have a feeling these two, I might end up rolling out all four next month if I really hunker down and concentrate on these and incorporate them in any look that I do. I think I can do it because this one has six uses and I can see myself working there. I can see myself working there. I, I have about 21 uses on that one. So I think I can do it. So that's my goal, you guys. I think I wanna roll out all four shades next month, whether I hit pan or don't. This one I'll, I will most likely hit pan on, which is the Lorac one. And that's about it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have pan on anything else to be honest with you. I think it'll be just the, the rock eyeshadow, but I'm okay with that. That's fine, you guys. I've been wanting to get more use out of these. If you have heard, if you haven't heard, you're gonna hear this all month long because I don't know who watches my videos, who doesn't watch my videos, which one of my series of panning do you like to watch? If you watch them all, you don't. But I recently just decluttered a ton of makeup. And I, I think I decluttered about 60 eyeshadow palettes out of my collection. So if this is still in here, it's obviously because I still like it and enjoy it. So um, I, I, not because I, I had to do it, is because I wanted to do it because I had in two lovely ladies who um, wanted makeup, enjoy makeup, and I know that they can't um, afford to buy makeup all the time. So I wanted to splurge and spoil them. So I went a little bit ham, but you know what? I don't regret anything. I am so, so happy and excited and they are both excited and happy to get all the stuff that they got. So my numbers went down drastically in almost every category and I'm content still with what I have. I don't feel like I let go of anything that I'm gonna regret not having. I really, really thought about it, you guys. You know how I am with my declutters. I really think about it and I am just, I'm, I'm beyond excited that they got that makeup. So what that means is I have less choices, which is fine, but I still have a ton. <laughs> still have a ton of makeup. Um, but if these palettes, like I really thought about what it is that I wanted to hit pan on, and some of my palettes I really didn't care to pan at all, so I got rid of them. And this one's still in here, so this one I still like, so I'm excited to play around with it. So yeah, that's that's where we are, you guys. That's where we are. All right, that's it. I don't want to jibber-jabber anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put my videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, adios.